So the challenge of the main course today is a rabbit stew, but I'm doing it in an electric slow cooker. And dying to see how you manage to cope with that challenge, Jay. Well, I'm doing mine in a non-electric slow cooker. It's called a hay box. We've got half a rabbit here. Mm, where do you think I should cut it, Jay? You're an expert right, in this, right. I think. Just go in wherever the bones are going to come out. And then just line there without my finger. That's a good one. I need something bigger than this, don't I? You need an axe. Peelings and things from here. Pop it in the stock. We'll use that later. Right. Could you pass my frozen stock cubes from over there, Jay? I just can't. I can't believe this. There's a frozen. We can get a few of these out. Just to get some really nice rounds, fingers like you would normally, and then just move the blade down your fingers. So now I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna do a. You're meet. not wasting those good bits, are you? Uh, they, they're not getting wasted. They are gonna go, you know, to um to my compost heap. So what's wrong with that? Hey, what, what do you mean well, wasted? You, have you got a good idea? You can take some flavour out of them first. That, that's going in the stock. That's going to go right. in your stock. Would you like that without the leaves in? You have to worry about what you do with the peelings, do you think? Yeah, well, I do recycle them. I, I, so do I. <laughs> yeah, you, you throw them on the floor. So you're crushing your garlic just with just, the knife. Just yeah. crushing it. Let's the juices out. Let's the let's the flavour out. A bit of fine chopping on that as well. So it's nearly as good as mine, isn't it? And you don't have to. You only have to wash your knife, or have you never washed it? What I'm going to do is bring all this together in, in something called a Dutch oven. Another technical gizmo a term. Dutch oven, right. We're going to bring it together in a Dutch oven. Just warm it all through on the fire. Get it up to just below boiling and then we'll just pop it in a box full of hay. It's <laughs> insulated. Keep it warm in there for Are you saying the hay box hours. is just a box with hay in it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does exactly what it says on the tin. Or on the box. I'm sort of amazed. Right, I'm gonna chop up the onions a little bit more. Okay. With my posh knife. Are you gonna put those in with the rabbit or are you gonna I am gonna, I'm going to take the rabbit out and put that in the slow cooker now. Rabbit's got a, a really food. interesting smell. It doesn't smell like any other meat as it as it cooks. It's very gamey, yeah. isn't it? That one's trying to get away. That's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> There's the onions going in now. What I've done is I've put quite a lot of, of liquid in there because I want to boil my garlic. My cousin, who's a trained chef, always says that the reason people don't like garlic is it's actually fried too long and it goes bitter. But that's why I just want to get it up to temperature. Right, release it the juices. It still smells oh, of garlic, doesn't it, as well? And the, the vegetables are so good. Ready to go in? That's ready to go in. Thanks for that, Jay. There's more room in my kitchen. Looks, looks almost the same as mine. Lovely. I'm actually going to use wine now. This is going to use German, German sweet white wine. All right, okay. Because it's actually flowery. We'll try that first, and we'll deglaze it again if it's not, or I'll just add some more. Rabbit is, although it's quite um. What, what we say it's, it's actually quite a strong meat. It's mm. also quite sweet. So I thought the sweetness with it would probably yeah. do something. A lot of people might do it with dry cider or whatever. I don't know what you're going to do with yours with. That's I'm going to do you. mine with a beer. With a beer. Yeah. A local beer. A local beer. Yo. So you use local beer. It's got wheat in it as well. That's a bit lovely. A little bit of 
parsley and a little bit of thyme. Thyme's quite strong so I'm not going to be overzealous with it. That's the second to last ingredients. Of course we've got salt and pepper to go in. Oh look at this. Look at that. It's actually got a light on it so you can see where the where it's going. Isn't that fun? Wouldn't you think that would wouldn't you want one of them, Jay? It's battery operated, so you can do that. These are the beans that we set off yesterday, can you see? They look they look nearly as good as my ones out of a tin. But I like the ones that's in this morning. I thought they looked much better than this. Let's see how they taste. We'll use that for a bit of stock as well. That, that's you sieving, is it? That's me sieving. You've got your fingers in the way. You did wash your hands, didn't you? The benefits of a slow cooker is it just tenderises the meat beautifully because it's cooking more slowly. It gives a chance for the bad sinews to break down and it means you end up with a, a product that falls apart at the end. The great thing, I mean, just like your slow cooker, is prep this in the morning, go off and do your your days walking or whatever it is that you want to go and do. And and providing no one's come, nicked it. <laughs> come back, your dinner's cooked, just pop it on the fire again at the end of the day to, to warm it through. But, so we'll seal that down. Yeah. Get that nicely sealed. Pop and it, pop and it that, some, is, that is pop now... Pop it somewhere out of the way. That is now an oven. Okay, now for the moment of truth. You the hay box. Is the hay box. It's been in there for... I think about four hours now, Phil. So we're going to pop it. Not with all the bits on it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at that. God. That looks pretty impressive like slow cooking should do. You're going to use my spoon? I'm going to use... My spoon. I'm going to use your spoon. Just so you get a decent quantity. There's four bits of... Uh, we only need one bit, don't we, each? Thank you. Tell me to hold your horse while you're it. Thank you, kind sir. That's the least I can do. Just in case yours is bigger, you know, because I might. I'm going to, yeah. Dip first. Dip and then fingers on the rabbit, I think. It's just so gamey, isn't it? Lovely mm. texture. Mm. So which was really better? I think they were both pretty good, Jay. I have to say, I think the outdoor cook one just has the edge. Is it just because we're eating it outdoors though, which always feels nice, and even baked beans taste nice outside? Of course they do, but I think in this case, you know, the, the meat was more tender, the sauce was just that little bit richer. I think I won. I don't think there was much difference. Yeah, but you know, there is one final question that was in the film. What would have happened if you had had a power cut? Okay, you got me. <laughs>